If they were a blood feeding leech, this is where they would attach to you for blood feeding. No, nope, those aren't pickles. They're part of the leech collection at Nova Scotia's Museum of Natural History. There are 45 species of leech across Canada, with about 15 in Nova Scotia. They're more active in the warmer weather, so like spring through fall, they're definitely more active. They're also more active at night. They don't actually all go after people, just this guy. Leeches can generally be found in shallow water attached to rocks or vegetation along the shoreline. So just what should you do if you look down and spot a leech? When I was a kid, we used to keep salt nearby in case we got the leeches on to help sprinkle it on and get them off. But turns out, salt only makes matters worse. When you do that, leeches have a reaction that they'll actually vomit. And so that's the one time that you could potentially get an infection from a leech is if you have done something to make them kind of vomit into you and you'd end up with bacteria coming from the leech. Uh, into that wound that it's opened. The best way to get them off is to take a credit card or something firm and break the suction they have against your skin. Or you could just leave them and let them come off naturally. Unlike ticks, they don't transmit diseases, but you should still clean any wounds with antibiotics. Fraser says back in the 1800s, an English inventor and meteorologist attempted to use leeches to predict weather. George Merriweather, who noticed that the leeches became really active when a storm was coming, and they started to go up to the top of their vials. And so what would happen in this situation is the leeches would come to the top of these bottles, they would disrupt a piece of baleen that was at the top, which would shake a string and ring a bell. You've probably never heard of it because the concept was never scientifically validated.